Good evening, I'm Mark Ben Soul. And I'm Heather Skoll. Tonight in El Paso County School District now confirms a racial slur used in the classroom by a teacher criticizing the Super Bowl hip hop halftime show. Whitefield School District 3 is now conducting an investigation amid a call to fire that teacher. Investigative reporter Dan Beatty broke the story this afternoon and joins us live from the newsroom with the details. Dan. The district says the teacher in question, Brian Gauck, a JROTC commander at Mesa Ridge High School, has been disciplined. The district says he has apologized to multiple classes after he said the N-word. But tonight, one parent tells me it's not enough. Well, I think that they should make it very clear that that type of behavior and that type of language is not tolerable. London Gibson says her daughter, a Mesa Ridge High School student, felt humiliated when her Navy JROTC commander, Brian Gauck, used the N-word during her class. She wants him fired immediately. You know, she doesn't deserve to have to go to school and feel judged based on the color of her skin. And so it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. She really loves the ROTC program. This is, she has asked me several times to skip the class. Widefield School District 3 says the instructor used the word as part of a classroom discussion, and it was not directed or in reference to a specific person. Gibson's daughter says the instructor was discussing the Super Bowl halftime show and how white people were underrepresented. That's when the instructor used the N-word. Not enough. Um, white people performing versus black people. I have no idea what that has to do with naval science whatsoever. Gibson filed a complaint through the high school. The district says they are continuing their investigation to see if the instructor was in violation of the district's code of conduct for staff. Further discipline could be coming. In addition, a spokesperson for the district says the Mesa Ridge High School principal, along with Gauk, are engaging in individual conversations with both students and parents. Gibson tells me she has spoken to the principal and the district superintendent, but hasn't heard an apology from the instructor. She says her daughter wants out of the class. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dan Beatty, 13 Investigates.